On this James the Bike Guy, we're checking out a bike that's way out of my wheelhouse. Something that's so utilitarian and so versatile that I'm not quite sure what category to place it in, but this thing is rad. This is a Breezer Radar X. Now these types of bikes are not quite something I know a whole ton about, so this video is gonna be a bit different. However, I thought this thing was so neat that I had to show it to you. So at the end of this video, if you want a bit more information, I suggest you check out a real expert on the channel, Path Less Pedaled. They do reviews on bike packing bikes and things like this all the time, and it's a real neat channel to watch as well. So with all that said, Let's check out this bike. We'll go into some of the features and designs, and then of course, we'll find out exactly what it weighs. This Breezer Radar X is a really interesting rig, and Radar stands for Road and Dirt Adventure Rig. And I really think this bike stands up to that. A couple of reasons why would be this thing is filled with brazons. So all these little bolts, you've, you've got three on the seat stay here. You've got two more down there for racks or mounts, or I bet this is for bags or even bottles on the back end. More rack mounts there. The rear end is through axle with a threaded bottom bracket in the center. And then you're going to have even more water bottle cage mounts here with a triplicate on the down tube, two on the seat tube. And this seat tube is super straight but it's got a little kink in the bottom. And interestingly, I found on the other side, it's got a spot for a dropper post routing. So you could set this up dropper. And as we go forward, we've got more brazons on the top tube for a top tube bag. This frame is nice and large enough. I'm sure a frame bag could fit on it. And then the fork is gonna be a steel fork would you know it? More brazons. So this thing is set up uh, really to be an adventure rig as they call it. And actually when you watch Breezer's video from four years ago on this model, they claim that this is supposed to be designed to do things, everything from urban riding to extended bike packing. And leading up to this video, I tried to find what the maximum weight capacity was. And unfortunately I couldn't find it, but I've got to imagine with all those brazon mounts as well as the steel frame, it has to be really significant. And the features kind of go on from there, which are pretty neat, such as it's running a tapered head tube. You rarely see this on this kind of bike, but it really comes to some of the mountain bike heritage that Breezer has with an inch and an eighth to inch and a half down low, as well as the fact it's running 29 inch wheels on this bike, which just crazy. So 29ers and 700C are the same rim diameter, but the tire heights definitely change. And here we've got the Goodyear Peak Ultimate tires in a 29 by 2.25. This uh, definitely seems like a fast rolling tire. I'm not super familiar with it, but there's even a bit more clearance. Now spec wise, they claim the frame can only fit 2.1s. So it's really cool to see 2.25s from the factory on a frame that's only supposed to sport 2.1s. Now the frame itself going into that a bit more, along with all those little brazon adapters, you can see it's got some pretty nice finishing to it, a nice gusset on the frame, this Radar X, which I wonder if the X stands for expert. But anyways, you've got your gusset right there, as well as a gusset down below to keep that tapered head tube stiff but it's a 4130 frame. Now, the neat thing with 4130 is that's a chromoly tubing and steel should run a bit more comfortable than your traditional aluminum bike would. So being a bike packing rig or something you're gonna load up and have fun, I have only got to imagine that that would be helpful. The other thing that's gonna be helpful to doing that has got to be this one by style drivetrain. So this is a SRAM Apex drivetrain. In mountain bike worlds, this is maybe NX quality with a FSA Comet front crank, which is a 38 tooth running this narrow wide to the back with an 11 to 42 tooth rear cassette. So it's an 11 speed cassette, 42 in the rear and 38 up front means this bike is sporting less than a one to one gear ratio, which again, going back to that road and dirt adventure rig, probably means that it's specced well because then you're gonna be able to climb even with some additional weight. Now, another thing I find interesting, and you see this on some real gravel spec bikes, is the handlebar setup. So this is very, very wide for a road bike. It's almost mountain bike width. And then you can see the flare to the drops comes out pretty far. 
and that's allowing so when you're in the drops you can see my my wrist is not coming into contact with the top of the bar and it's pretty interesting to see it makes for a really unique look to this bike you can see those those bars flare out quite a bit this is an aluminum breezer bar with an alloy 31.8 stem and on those flared handlebars are these SRAM Apex shifters. These are pretty neat. They're a mechanical shifter and brake lever with a single click to go to a harder gear and two clicks to go to an easier gear that SRAM calls their double tap style shifter. It's really neat because that paddle can be pressed back and it's not mounted up with the brake. So you don't have to worry about grabbing a handful of brake and shifting the bike. But more interestingly, that brake lever is operating a mechanical to hydraulic disc brake setup. This is a TRP high road caliper where you can see the cable is compressing the master cylinder mounted up on the brake caliper, making for an inexpensive way to get hydraulics, but also might be a place where you've got extra serviceability because you don't have to worry about a hydraulic hose going back down. Now to the saddle is the WTB Volt saddle. Now, like I said before, this is dropper post compatible, which is pretty neat and you mate that up with those mountain bike wheels and tires almost makes you think it's a mountain bike but then again we'll check out the geometry and you might fall into that category more this is running a head tube angle of 69 degrees and a seat tube angle of 73 degrees which makes this head tube and seat tube basically a trek marlin so at some point is this a mountain bike is it a gravel bike or is it a road bike I really don't know and that's kind of what I think is the best thing about it. So now that we've gone into all that geekery, let's go ahead and place it on a scale, see what it weighs. The weight on this Breezer Radar X, size small is gonna come in and weigh 26.36 pounds, which is pretty reasonable considering everything that's on this bike. Thanks for watching this video on the Breezer Radar X. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this bike down below. Let me know if you checked out Pathless Pedals channel and let me know what you thought of them. And definitely hit that subscribe as well as browse my channel for more videos like this in the future.